Hello everyone and welcome to Angel Healing House. My name is Claire Candy Hoff and my name is also Angel Ariel as I had an angelic walk-in experience on January 11th of 2003. I'd like to welcome back all my loyal subscribers. It's lovely to be in your energies once more. And for those who have just found the Claire Candy Hoff channel and are watching and listening for the first time, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Through my full-time business, Angel Healing House Healing Practice, I am a Reiki Master Teacher, having taught hundreds and hundreds of Reiki practitioners and master teachers around the world, either here in my office in Santa Monica, California, or online. I'm also a channel, a clairvoyant, a tarot card reader. Um, I do past life clearings and ancestral healings. I am also the author of several number one Amazon international best-selling books. For, to find out more about my, the information about my services and my award-winning books, please do go to my website, which is angelhealinghouse.com. Or you can also call Angel Healing House on 831-277-3716. Um, I, uh, I also want to thank those people who have made donations through my PayPal account. And it's uh, that link is in the, um, the description box below um, for all of the free content that I put out. If it has been helpful to you, it is much appreciated. Now, just a reminder that in addition to my YouTube channel, every week for the past 10 years, on Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I host my hour-long Angel Healing House blog talk radio show containing channeled information for the Awakened Collective. And I take calls from listeners into the show for free mini angel readings. So I would love to speak with you. So do call in and I hope you're fortunate enough to get one of those spots to have your questions answered by myself and my wonderful angelic family, the Posse of Angels. So let's start today with a timely story that is very close to my heart. As I move to the land down under, Australia, when I was 17 years old, and I lived there for 21 years. And although they speak English, or some form of English, they have their own special way of expressing themselves, as is reflected in this story, which is entitled, No Worries, Mate. Now, in Australia, we have a great expression, No Worries, Mate. And it can mean several things, like, Sure thing, that's not a problem. Or, don't worry about it. Or, I got it covered. Don't worry if you have problems. Which is easy to say until we are right smack dab in the midst of a really big one. But the only people that I am aware of who don't have problems, who don't have troubles, are gathered in communities which are called cemeteries. You know, if we are breathing, then no matter who we are, we have challenges. But those who rise above them and say, no worries, mate, choose to know that that is the way of life. And believe it or not, most of our problems may actually be good for us. Just let me explain. Maybe you've seen the Great Barrier Reef stretching along the east coast of Queensland in Australia. My husband Pete and I were fortunate to have honeymooned in this extraordinary slice of paradise. Tour guides regularly take visitors to view the reef, and on one tour, the guide was asked quite an interesting question. The visitor said, I noticed that on the lagoon side of the reef, it looks pale and lifeless, while the ocean side is vibrant and colorful. Why is this so? Well, the guide gave an interesting answer. The coral around the lagoon side is in still water with no challenge for its daily survival. It dies early. While the coral on the ocean side, it constantly is being tested by wind and waves and storms, surges of power. 
it, by contrast to the still side, must fight for survival every day of its life. As it's challenged and tested, it changes and it must adapt. And through these changes, it grows healthy, it grows stronger, and it reproduces. Then he added this telling note. That's the way it is with every living organism. And that's how it is with people. Challenged and tested, we come alive. I like Eleanor Roosevelt's quote in which she says, a woman, and I will add, and a man, we are all like tea bags. You never know how strong we are until we get into hot water. Like coral, pounded by the sea, we grow. Physical demands can cause us to grow stronger. Mental and emotional stress can produce tough-mindedness and resiliency. And spiritual testing can produce and strengthen our character and our faithfulness. So, you have a problem? No problem or no worries. Just tell yourself, there I grow again. How many of us have grown immeasurably by the challenges of what we've had to face and been through these past two years? With many in the conscious collective awakening and expanding their awareness to see the truth as to what has been perpetuated on our beloved planet, this has caused a falling away of many relationships that we simply do not resonate with anymore. And the Posse of Angels is reminding us that this is not about someone's beliefs, it's certainly not about their health choices, but rather their energies that we're no longer matching to our raised frequencies of light within. It became harder and harder to be around those who dictated and shamed others as to their choices that they made. And the Posse of Angels wish to remind us that there is no separation in the fifth dimension and higher, as the human collective no longer will get their identity out of being right, as we were programmed to keep separating ourselves through judgment, competition, and division. With our ascended clarity now, we are able to easily discern and deeply know that it's only through the perpetuation of respect for one another only through the perpetuation of love and kindness, compassion, forgiveness, and peace, that the greatest good for all will prosper and thrive. Just this past week, I had a very dear friend crying to me that she'd lost her mother. But her mother was very much alive and chooses to make different choices to her daughter. Please know, that if you've experienced a falling away of a relationship with a dear, cherished loved one, the Posse of Angels and I wish to remind you that we can never lose someone as love never dies. Now, what else did we learn from these challenges? Well, many in the Awakened Collective learned to stand up and use their voice authentically as an instrument of truth and justice against tyranny and the unconstitutional freedoms and rights that are our inherent birthright as occupants of planet Earth. Many found out just how strong and, and, uh, and aligned with their convictions that they truly are. Now the Posse of Angels is sharing that there were others that found their strength in not allowing themselves to be swayed into choices by fear and coercion and stood like empowered, strong sentinels, being ever vigilant about holding high frequencies of light and blessing what was occurring on the planet, rather than seeing it as something that should not be happening. Those who held this point of view in their hearts saw that things were no different than they had always been, but that they were being revealed now. The difference in this revolution on planet Earth and the Posse of Angels is saying that this was just another one of the many of revolutions throughout history 
that has occurred on planet Earth in order for her to exalt herself into light and break the chains of darkness that had kidnapped her. But the difference with this revolution is that in this one, the light has already won, or we wouldn't be seeing these things, and it's ushering in the new era of light for peace and justice, truth, prosperity, compassion, forgiveness, and love to finally reign on planet Earth. And they wish to remind us all that if you are here, which you are in human form, it means that you have lived through previous revolutions on the planet. Perhaps you lived at a time during the Spanish Inquisition. Perhaps you experienced the Holocaust. Perhaps ethnic cleansing and a myriad of others when you and others like you tried to bring more light to the planet with truth and justice. Or perhaps you were one person, like myself, uh, when I share about my past lives in my award-winning novel, One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness, when I was a healer in 14th century Scotland. And at that time, I empowered and helped others to awaken to their sovereign, independent, intuitive thoughts and their divine natures. And they relied more on their intuition and less on the church. Well, the authorities, the church did not like that, that I helped empower the serfdom in which I lived. And they trumped up a charge, um, they, and they charged me with being a witch, and they basically had me bonfired at the stake. Maybe you have been through a similar experience where you have stood up, and try to bring more truth and justice to the planet as well. The Posse of Angels is sharing that millions of awakened humans on the planet experience similar instances of standing up for the truth and being shut down. And this is just another scenario that we wrote and contracted for us to be part of the great ascension of planet Earth into a planet and into a planet of the light of truth. As we go into this brand new year of hope and increased light on the planet, do take some time to give yourself credit for having the courage to come back into human form, to participate in yet another of Earth's revolutions, and know that without your contribution to the light, it would not have been strong enough for the planet to succeed. And at this point, when I write this on this powerful solstice day of 12 21 12, a new day is being heralded for each one of us individually and collectively. And the Posse of Angels wish to give us a message by choosing a card to help us at this brand new beginning that we find ourselves at. And this card they chose was from the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. Beautiful cards, I love this. The card that came out was an eight card. It's the card of infinity. If you put an eight on its side, it's that infinity symbol, as above, so below, as within, so without. It's that timeless cycle that we have been on. And it is also the number of abundance and prosperity. Prosperity for all on the planet and not just an elite few. And here we have the pathway, direction, purpose, and change. So you know, you know what must be done. This is but a moment of hesitation, of integration. And on this day, of the solstice day, we are end, ending a 40-day trial period which started in early November of us integrating everything that we've learned and it's brought us to this place. Whatever you do at this stage, you must know that your feet will be put on the path of your soul's highest purpose. Your soul knows what it's doing and all you must do to choose the direction which will lead 
to the most self-love not only for yourself, but the greatest good of all concerned. Trust at this time, because although the path may be obscured to you, you have crossed a bridge and you are facing in the right direction now of your soul's highest serving. Keep going, dear beloved ones, they are saying. We will guide your every step. We will place your feet on unseen pathways. It is your faith now and your openness to co-create with spirit that will bring about synchronicities, magic, and miracles. And you will climb to the place where you can truly see in all directions. And that beloved one is your place of wisdom, which is your karmic fated destiny. And this is us crossing that bridge into the higher dimensional frequencies, crossing that bridge from the old structures and systems that are being broken down and following that new path to a new era here on planet Earth. Thank you so much to the Posse of Angels for suggesting that beautiful card and to help us to step upon this brand new path in 2022. Here are some words of wisdom from the lovely poet Leonard Milgram to help us to have the faith and the strength of our convictions as we venture forth into this brand new era of light. Every day begins anew, a limitless potential, a clear and open avenue, pristine and quintessential. Every dawn, a brand new dawn, an overture unique, a chance to change, to be reborn seven times a week, an opportunity immense to alter course, to move, to summon forth our common sense, to raise our sights, improve, to organize the will to win, no time to fret and brood, the magic of self-discipline, a can-do attitude. The substance waits within our mind, resolve within our heart, a courage of a higher kind appears when once we start. Conversation bids us bear our yoke, to bend our knee and bow, conditions and programs us as fearful folk to bear us down somehow. But in moments when success seems slim and benefits are few, you feel you don't believe in him, still he believes in you. For we possess a perfect guide to show us what to do. The spark of God swells deep inside and each day begins anew. Thank you everyone for listening. Uh, with me and the Posse of Angels to today's uh, YouTube. Uh, know that every Tuesday we post a YouTube of a story, of a poem, just to take some time out to recharge and to restore and refresh. And we, as of today, the solstice, are really stepping on a new path. Uh, many of my clients uh, through my business, Angel Healing House, uh, often ask about time. Will we see the very tangible results of this in the first week in January? And if there's two things that the Posse of Angels are not really good about, those unlike myself, Angel Ariel, who, who have incarnated in human form, uh, they don't know very much about time or money because they know that money is not the green stuff or the colored stuff in other other international denomination abundance is our nature and there is no time across the veil but they are saying that as we progress through 2022 things are going to become blatantly obvious that we are now living in higher dimensional frequencies and we will see those tangible results of the light creating those new structures and new systems that will be of benefit for everyone on the planet, for prosperity, peace, uni unity, respect, forgiveness, compassion, and unconditional love.
If you would like to find out more about my services or book an appointment with me, please do go to angelhealinghouse.com or you can always call 831-277-3716 and that is Pacific Standard Time. I'm wishing you love and angel blessings as always. Go out and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself and I'm wishing you an absolutely beautiful holiday season. Take care everyone. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.